Hey there, Papper people. It is your favorite thick registered polysomnographic technologist. Today, we're going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Wellu O2 meter. Now, this is kind of weird. It says this product is intended for sports or aviation use only. It should not be used to diagnose or treat any medical condition. Well, that's unfortunate. While I'm pulling off the outer shell, let me tell you, I don't think Wellu is very happy with me. This might make for another really nice video. But not for now. Now, if we check out this packaging, um, it's very Apple-like. We have a white box. Looks like we have a one-year warranty, and then we have some instructions. Beautiful. Now, inside, we have a Wellu sensor that just when I touched it, started buzzing. Uh, this goes around your finger instead of pinching on your fingertip, which is a definite nice design. I've worn some like this, and it's a much, much better option than the clip on your finger. So we also have this USB charging cable in there. Might be used to download data. I'm assuming it is. But this video is not so much about the directions of it. By the way, don't be distracted by my hands. I know I'm sort of like a hand model, but just try to keep your thoughts pure right now as you look at these glorious sausages. So after a quick review, I lied. I did look at the directions. Uh, it looks like you can actually download this information to a, an app on your smartphone. And it looks like you can even import the data into a program such as Oscar. Now there's applications to using the SPO2 data um, within Oscar. Some of it's gonna be pretty, pretty user specific. I don't know that it's gonna be helpful for everyone, um, but it'll give you some information if you're having big desaturation. When people are using this with Oscar, I often notice that there's a lot of alarms, and I, by alarm, I don't mean an actual alarm. I mean, the patient becomes alarmed because they're getting a blood oxygen desaturation, and then they think it has to do with sleep apnea. It doesn't always have to do with sleep apnea. You can have movement-related oxygen desaturation. So oftentimes it's someone waking up and moving around quite a bit. You tend to get oxygen desaturations during those periods. However, there are times where the information off of this is used to diagnose patients. I know this isn't meant to, but in a hospital setting or sometimes an ambulatory setting, they'll send people home with an oximetry device and they'll get something called the ODI. That's the Oxygen Desaturation Index. Now the ODI is very, very highly correlated to the apnea hypopnea index, which is used to diagnose sleep apnea. So if you're having an ODI that's pretty dang high, let's, I don't have an exact number for you because it's semi-arbitrary. If it's like right at five is an ODI, then you're kind of borderline as far as your sleep apnea is concerned, or it could just be false positives. If you have an ODI of something like, let's just say 30, 40, 50, now you're probably gonna have severe sleep apnea. That's pretty tough to fake throughout the entire night. So cool little device. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on my finger there. Now it's showing the battery's low, so I'm gonna go ahead and have to charge this. I'm gonna do a follow-up video with this. I'll show you all the things it can do, and I'm gonna show you the things that are gonna make it useful within Oscar. Some interesting personalized data that you'll be able to pull off of it so that you're able to understand your sleep throughout the night in a, in a much better fashion. Now, do I endorse the Wellu O2 ring? Of course not, I haven't used it yet. But you know what I do endorse? Smooth transitions. Check out CPAPsupplies.com. That is a sponsor of this channel. CPAPsupplies.com helps bring all this information to you free of charge and I'm able to pump them out much faster now because of their help. But you know what also helps? That's right, again, CPAPsupplies.com. They're gonna help you save money. If you are a cash payer, they have tons of discount codes. They always offer them right there on the homepage. And if you don't see anything there that you, that you like, just, just use Lefty 20. That'll get you 20% off whatever it is that you purchase. Now, another thing that makes them great and actually semi-ridiculous is that they have this 30-day mask guarantee. What? That doesn't even make sense. If you don't like the mask that you purchase, you can swap it out for a new mask within 30 days. This gives you a lot of time to sample several masks and find one that is comfortable for you that you can have a nice long-term relationship with. Much like my long-term relationship with CPAPsupplies.com. That's right, that's the answer for everything today. Do me a favor, if you like this content, check out CPAPsupplies.com today. Check out the links in the description box down below. I will also leave a link in the comments section pinned up at the top. All right, guys, thanks for watching. More to come on the Wellu O2 ring. We'll have some sweet tips and tricks and we'll see how this baby works. And last thing, if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one sleep consultation, check out my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Hope to see you there. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching, bye. Why does your mask smell like my feet? Pick up some Mask Bright today. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Matthew Lilly, Mona Swearingen, Chung Chu Chen, Buddy Doris, Patricia Espelong, 
Ray Troutman, Sarvesh Joshi, and Stuart Hetherington, as well as a big thank you to all my other Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Little tiny thanks, buddy, for you guys. 